A Leander High School student dies from an overdose at a party. And now a mother is in jail charged with supplying the drugs and lying to detectives about it. Investigators say Suzanne Allen threw the party at her home in Round Rock off FM 1431 in the Vista Oaks neighborhood, and her own child was there. The 36-year-old was arrested about three weeks after she found the sophomore dead in her home the morning after the party. All new at 6, Aaron Cargyle spoke with his parents today and is live outside the Williamson County Jail with this story tonight. Aaron. Good evening, Leslie. Suzanne Allen is still behind bars here. The teenage victim's family says this is where she should stay. But they're not just angry at her. They believe that their son's friends should have done more. Michael Christopher and his wife Linda are cherishing every photo of their youngest son Joey, whose friend gave them this one. Joey's kind of waving goodbye. Taken but. about a month before the 16-year-old's death. She, Linda walks by his picture every day and waves at him. <laughs> it makes her feel better. On the night of Saturday, March 26th. He was not where he was supposed to be or where he said he was going to be. His parents later learned a friend drove him here to a party at this Round Rock home, where three teenagers told Williamson County investigators they were doing ecstasy, including the parent hosting the party, Suzanne Allen. Three teens say she also gave them methadone, prescription pain pills to, quote, even them out. I don't understand the logic behind that. But she could have called 911. She could have done a million things differently. The next morning, Joey was found dead at the home. A toxicology report revealed methadone in his system. Right after Joey's death, the school district had extra counselors on hand here at Leander High School. But they took it one step further and brought in an expert panel for parents to talk to about how to open up the lines of communication with their kids about drugs and alcohol. Joey's parents say they did talk to their son about the dangers of prescription drug abuse and look for signs. They not only blame this mother, but wish someone else at the party would have just picked up the phone. They need to call the police or call 911 or call the parents, go to the neighbors, you know, whatever, so that somebody could have had an opportunity to save Joey. There's no reason he should have died. And investigators tell us that Suzanne Allen has been on methadone for several months to try and wean herself off of oxycodone, a highly addictive pain medication. Investigators wouldn't tell us just how many other kids they believe are at this party, but said they would not be shocked if Allen gave pills to more than just the three. Live at the Williamson County Jail tonight, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN, Austin News. Thanks, Aaron.